Hi guys, so we are doing amazing. So in today's video, we are going to do a full face of Maybelline makeup. I have um, a lot of products from Maybelline. In fact, 95% products are from Maybelline except two. I don't have an eyeshadow palette from the brand and uh, I don't have a bronzer from Maybelline. The bronzing stick they have doesn't show up on me. I had their uh, neutral palette, uh, the nudes palette, the first one. But it was so old, I think it was more than three and a half, four years old that I had to throw it out and I couldn't buy it again and yesterday I was just looking at the this month's plan for content and I was like I don't really know what content I should put up so I thought I should shuffle my makeup and look into uh, the stuff I already have and create the content out of it since I've done a makeup video here and the videos are not uh, getting many views I don't know why if you guys are watching this video please turn on the notification because uh, a lot of people have informed me that they are no longer receiving notifications when a new video goes up so make sure to hit the notification bell and make sure to subscribe to my channel because uh, I saw the analytics and said 70% of viewers are not subscribed to my channel so make sure you subscribe to my channel before you watch the video so let's start the video so first of all I have just uh, water washed my face I've just washed my face with water and have nothing else on so I'm going to moisturize my skin but since it's very humid here in Delhi I want a moisturizer which is very lightweight and will not make me sweat I'm going to use Wow Aloe Vera Multivitamin Face Cream so this cream has aloe vera extracts, vitamin A, B3, B5, C and E and this is a soothing, toning and reviving moisturizer so this comes in this airless jar which means the ingredients inside uh, remain potent for a really long time it's a very lightweight moisturizer and it doesn't feel heavy at all as you can see it's not shiny or oily or greasy at all so it is suitable for all skin types and wow products are silicon sulfate paraben and mineral oil free which makes them really really good choice for your skin and hair wow products are made of plant derived ingredients botanical ingredients also you can download wow app and buy products directly from the app also there is a qr code mentioned on all the products you can scan this QR code by using any QR code scanning app and it will take you to the product page and where you can read more about the product which is a really cool feature I'm just keeping the primer completely and will directly jump to this foundation so now this foundation is like cult favorite a lot of people love maybe it fit me foundation however this foundation is meant for normal combination to oily skin types it works really well on my skin as well my skin is dry like I mentioned before but when I prep it nicely and moisturize it nicely it works really well and the best part is they have so many colors so I I remember visiting the store and I was like uh, I went to the sales associate and uh, he showed me uh, a color lighter than this I believe and that color was half a shade lighter than my complexion so what happens if a color is half a shade lighter it looks really grey around this area where my pigmentation is uh, it might not be that visible on uh, camera right now because of the lighting and everything but in reality it is there I really have pigmentation around this area so I asked him to show me a shade which is uh, probably very close to my skin tone or even half a shade darker I am fine with a half a shade darker foundation and he showed me this shade called golden caramel really happy that I picked it. He was like, ma'am, you dark color. Le uh, aapka chera dull lage ga. Kare kare dullness ki tension mat lo. Uh, mujhe gray nahi dikh raha. So, I told him that uh, lighter foundation make me look gray and he agreed. He was like, yes ma'am, it will There are very few brands in India that actually have so many shades. Uh, L'Oreal, Maybelline are like few of them. So, that's why I really enjoy this Fit Me foundation. Uh, I think internationally there is a glowy version as well and this foundation stays on for a really long time it blends in really beautifully the finish is really beautiful and the finish is almost like a demi matte it's not like a flat matte drying but it and also the tone as you can see the tone is really nice it's not too yellow it's not too uh, pink or anything it I will call it a beige tone foundation it's not too yellow so it doesn't make you look extremely yellow and this shade matches me really well I personally really like this shade as you can see it has covered my uh, complexion really well and nothing is looking grey or out of place and see with just few blends it has already blended in really well that's why I like this foundation a lot so if you think like this foundation can be dry for you just make sure to apply a nice moisturizer beforehand now you must have noticed that I am already through these 
I have barely any product left. So I have these in the shades caramel and medium. So caramel is my skin tone. It matches me perfectly. Probably half a shade darker but doesn't matter because it looks really nice. And medium is like a lighter shade. So I mix these two and apply under my eyes. Because if I apply only medium, it ends up looking quite ashy. So I apply a little bit of caramel. If you are NC42 and NC44, like if you are of my skin tone or probably uh, a shade darker, then you can use caramel. It's a really beautiful formula. And I'm just dabbing medium on top of it so that it brightens up the area without making it look ashy. And I do not use too much. I've just dabbed a little bit and then I'll go in with my sponge and blend it. Also guys, I'm just running out of ideas when it comes to um, YouTube videos. So you just suggest me what you would like to see on my channel. I was initially thinking of doing lipstick videos like my looking at my stash and picking out uh, neutral shades like top 10 neutral shades from my stash top 5. Top 10 pinks, top 10 red, purples. But then a couple of you guys commented that nobody is going to wear lipsticks because we all are going to wear masks. So I'm not sure whether it's a good idea to do lipstick video or not. But let me know if you are interested. I will do that. Because I'm thinking of recycling the, uh, the products I already have uh, instead of buying new stuff. Because not all of us are buying makeup right now. That is one of the reasons why the focus of my channel has shifted to skincare majorly because we all are most of us are sitting at home and we can actually focus on our skincare. So that's why I have not done much makeup videos. In fact, the sugar came out with so many beautiful matte lip crayons. I did not pick anything, which is not like me. I would have picked and reviewed them for you. But I was like, would people really be interested in seeing lipstick swatches right now? Uh, should I pick them? I was thinking of picking only neutral shades from that uh, range. Let me know if you want me to pick neutral colors from that sugar matte has held crayons i will pick them and we'll make a video so the concealer is done the concealer is again mattifying so it's a matte concealer it is very lightweight it stays on for a really long time and uh, as you can see it has highlighted the under eye area a little bit this is my like second favorite product from the brand so my third favorite is going to be maybelline fit me loose powder so maybelline fit me loose powder has been favorite of so many people it's not exactly a yellow tone powder it's more like a beige tone powder which is really good for setting your under eye area because yellow sometimes make your under eye area look a bit too yellow or it causes flashback but I've seen that beige tone foundations don't do that. The shade I have right here is light medium. I all I also had medium but it was way too dark for me. So I use light medium and since my skin is very dry I just use it with a brush like this and set my under eye area. I don't bake it because if I bake my under eye area it just sucks the moisture out of that area and area starts looking really dry, wrinkly. It might look good on camera but it doesn't look good in person so I just completely avoid baking my face. So I've just taken a very little bit of that powder and set my under eye area, that's all. Now the next thing I don't have uh, a bronzer from Maybelline which is really sad because I think internationally Maybelline has so many products. They cater to variety of skin color, variety of uh, complexions but in India they have not decided to launch nice darker shades of bronzer. So I had their, one of their uh, sticks, the multi stick, one end highlighter and one other end bronzer. I think it's a contouring stick. But I did not like it because the uh, contouring shade was a bit too light for me. I'm using my bronzer, this matte bronzer from Sephora. This bronzer is I think three years old. I should throw it out. But I'm just using it because I really like it. This is from Sephora. Sephora no longer carries it. I picked it up from Sephora when they initially opened their first store in Delhi. I think it's been three years or more. And I have been using it ever since. This is like one of my favorite bronzers. This is a matte bronzer. Really beautiful. Really good quality. And I have barely made a dent even though I'm using it for three years. I stopped using it because so many of you were not able to access Sephora. And I thought what's the point of using a product if you guys cannot even buy it. So I stopped using it but I took it out very recently because... I was using the same bronzers again and again and it's very very boring. I'm applying the same bronzer on my eyelids to, uh, to cover the ashiness of the concealer because sometimes your eyelids look ashy after applying concealer. So what's this? the best way to hide the ashiness is to apply bronzer on your eyelids. And as you can see, it looks pretty nice. 
And next time, going to apply some blush, and this is Maybelline Master Face Studio Blush Contour and Highlight Kit. Now these colors look pretty dark, so I'm going to use a mix of this and this. These two colors look pretty natural. So the blush is done, it might look a bit too much right now. All you can do is like wipe your blush brush and just go over your blush to just blend it with the rest of your makeup. I really like this palette from Maybelline. I have this palette for almost two years now and I really like it. In fact, I really like the highlighter color here as well. But that's not what I'm going to use on my face today. I'm going to use Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlighter. I'm going to use this eyeshadow blending brush and apply it on the high points of my cheek. This is a very very potent highlighter. Very blinding. Next I'm going to do my brows and for that I have picked the Maybelline Fashion Brow Pencil. This brow pencil is pretty affordable but the only downside is that it doesn't come with a spoolie which is very handy if you are filling your brows on the go. Otherwise you will have to carry a separate brow brush with it. But the formula is not too creamy which I like. Because if the formula is way too creamy you end up with a stronger looking brow then you make mistakes. The color is pretty nice as well. It looks pretty natural. Brows are filled nicely. I think they look very decent, very nice. And uh, now I'm left with eyes. So I'm going to do my favorite signature smoked kajal makeup look today because I have the colossal kajal from Maybelline. Now I've applied the kajal very close to my lash line upper lash line and then smudge it out with a smudging brush. I have picked this makeup, I have picked this uh, lasting fix makeup setting spray. So the spray on that, the nozzle of the spray is not great. It was literally squirting product on my face. So while it's drying, let's just quickly do the mascara application. I have Maybelline's Total Temptation Mascara here. Uh, this is like an okay mascara. This is not my favorite mascara. My, my favorite mascara, I'm just forgetting the name. It comes in this beautiful rosy packaging. I'll mention it on the screen, but I really like that one. Uh, I did not have that. I already have this one open. So I thought, let me finish this one and then pick the new one. Because, you know, once you open the mascara, you have to use them up to within six months. So I did not want to waste. A very okay mascara it doesn't do too much for the volume or length of your lashes it's like a very okay mascara i personally love maybelline lipsticks because they're pretty affordable they come in a lot of shades my favorite could be maybelline creamy matte lipsticks have beautiful shades then i also love their ink crayons and their superstay ink liquid lipsticks are favorite of many but i personally don't enjoy them because of the sticky formula i really like these one and i have shade number five with me i'll mention the shade name on the screen this is a very beautiful brown shade. See, this lipstick is very, very pretty. It looks really beautiful. And it sets and doesn't move after a few minutes. Now, my blush was looking a bit too much initially, but now it has settled and it looks pretty okay now. I would have applied a nice, glowy, dewy finishing mist, but Maybelline has only this one, which is a mattifying mist. Um, so yeah, this was about it. I, this is my full face of Maybelline makeup. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I tried to make it as doable as possible. And I'm going to link all the products mentioned, all the products in the description box. Do not forget to check it out. So if you are watching me for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, hit like button, turn notifications on. And I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Till then.